Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show you how to install Windows 7 using VirtualBox 6.1 Okay, and to figure out your VirtualBox version, all you need to do is go to the VirtualBox, open the software, open the program and then go to help, click on about VirtualBox Now before you create anything, you want to start with the machine and create a new machine and you call it good old Windows 7 I'll just call it fresh install for this video and the next one if I have memory available I can increase that to a little bit better so let's maybe keep it at 4096 and then I'm going to go with the default options create a virtual hard disk now then VDI is fine then dynamically allocated storage on physical hard disk is also okay here 32 gigs is the default for the Windows 7 let's change that to maybe 50 gigs just a little bit I have some space available for me hit create so all it did it created a virtual space or it created the virtualized hardware and network and all of that stuff for me but there is nothing that is currently installed so if you try to click on start what you will see you will see this screen coming up and there is nothing that is actually running so there are two different ways you can start install process so you can do what i just did click on this start button at the top and then from here you go and choose the windows 7 iso image that you have downloaded from internet and then hit start and that will start the installation process for you okay while this is going on the other way i could have done it i could have gone to the setting go to the storage and over here if you see these two icons I can also add the optical disk Windows 7 ISO by clicking this plus button right here. Now since we have already started the installation, I'm just going to go back in here and let's see what it is. This is the one. So this is English, English US. I'm going to go with the English version of it and with the standard install, I'm going to click on install now and let's see what else do I need to do here just go ahead and accept the license for the Windows and hit next uh, we are not upgrading so I'm going to go with uh, custom and then we're going to use the full 50 gigs we are not doing any disk, disk partitioning so I'm going to select that hit next and it will just go through the whole process and it's going to copy the windows file expanding windows file installing features installing updates and it will complete the installation it may take about maybe you know five to ten minutes depending on uh, the configuration you have the memory available to you things like that and once that's done let me pause the video we'll come back and continue now if you see the whole bunch of things are getting done and once this is done it will automatically uh, restart your machine and it will show up and it will restart the Windows 7 let's see what happens it's going on don't worry about the background I have multiple virtual machine running so now it's starting this phrase install version of our Windows Windows 7 in our Ubuntu uh, in our virtual box 6.1 environment right so so finally it's uh, going through the final checks and validation and it's completing the installation process okay so we are right here at the last phase now what just happened it's completed the setup now installation is now complete and it's now saying hey press any key to boot if you don't press any just wait for a couple seconds it will automatically start and it's now setup is checking for the video performance and all that stuff once that done 
you are presented with this screen where you have given option to type a username so i'm just going to say student so it will automatically pick up a computer name based on the name that you are providing what name they picked up is fine i'm going to say next now i want to provide a strong password for this account and password hint i'm just going to keep it as student you can use anything else you like and now i'm just going to use use recommended setting and that should be fine for now and computer connect location is home that's where i'm installing and configuring my system so i'm going to choose the home network and uh, it is now trying to connect to my home network and applying the setting remember when virtualbox creates a virtual network by default it actually creates a net network where you can you have connectivity to the internet but you do not have connectivity to the host machine so now it's preparing uh, my desktop and if you notice I'm using a Windows 7 Enterprise environment version and now my Windows 7 is completely installed and I'm logged in so if I come here I can see all of the Windows features if I can go to the CMD my CMD is there I can ping Google to see and verify that my connectivity is available to me so now I have a fully working Windows 7 system that I can play with now before I end the video I want to go back to the virtual box setting just a little okay let me just first stop the video so again you can go back to see how many machines are running you can hit the show button to go back to this one I can click this one and then I'm just gonna say power of the machine and say okay so one thing I want to show you we can you can go back to the machine that you have configured under the system right now we configured the memory as 4096 MB if you wanted to configure the processor and give the machine more processing power you could do that for me once if you was just just okay acceleration I don't really mess with too much uh, storage if you still see this ISO you can and you should probably remove that one you do not need this anymore okay and the uh, network as I said by default it uh, virtual box creates the net network if you need connectivity to the other host machines or the guest machines in your host then you would want to have uh, at least the net network uh, where you should be configuring your network connection play with this and have fun enjoy your windows 7 if you like the video give me a thumbs up and subscribe thank you